There are eight types of intelligence that I want to share to you right now. The first type of intelligence is the person that is kinesthetic. When you're kinesthetic, you can move very well with your body. Those people are good when it comes to martial arts. Those people are good when it comes to dancing. Those people are good when it comes to working out. They're good with their body. They're very strong. The second type of intelligence is the linguistic type. The linguistic type speaks very well with his word. He have high vocabulary. He he focused very well and end up making a lot of sales, you know, when it comes to, to, to that kind of business. Why? Because he's linguistic type. He's very well with his words. So how can you improve that area of your life? You have to read more. You have to study vocabularies. That's the second type of intelligence. The third type of intelligence is the mathematical, logical part of intelligence. So those people see the world in numbers. And they're very logical, so they want fact. And scientific scientists are part of the mathematical logical part. So everybody may say, somebody may say to me right now, hey, I'm not good with numbers. I don't think I'll be able to be good at the mathematical logical part. But you don't have to be good with numbers. You just have to be that kind of person that wants the fact. And so if you're the mathematical logical part, uh, the scientists fall in this area as well. So probably you are grabbing hypotheses, making predictions, looking beyond the future and trying to think a way to, to, to improve yourself and, and find other alternatives of goals that you want to have in your life. Those people are the mathematical logical part. So you may not move too much in emotions in that area. That's the third one. The fourth one is the intrapersonal. The intrapersonal know themselves very well. The intrapersonal is the person that connects very well with people. They're very social. When you find somebody that connects very well, that he probably he doesn't know the people and he connects with them very well, they, he is the interpersonal type of person. Now that's the fifth one. The sixth one is the person that is good in nature, the net naturalist. The naturalist, that person, what he ends up doing is that he walks in nature, he has creative ideas, and not only that, but he take care of the environment, the ecosystem. Those people will take care of the animals. Those people are, are always, you know, farming or, or planting new plants, you know, uh, coming up with new ideas to just improve the environment. Those those people are the naturalist type of people. The other type of intelligence is the musical part of intelligence. The musical part of intelligence, that person is very well in music. You just have to put the music and he will soak in the music and he will understand the lyrics and those people will, will grab things what he sees in his environments and put it into music. So that person is ma mainly the musical part. So he will grab a guitar, make it into music. He's good at playing the piano. He's good at rapping. He's good at, of coming up with lyrics, coming up with song. So in his mind, He's more of the musical type of person. Last type of intelligence is the spatial type of intelligence. That person is good at drawing. That person is good at art, designing. So if you want to improve the spatial type of intelligence, you have to start taking classes of art. You have to start learning how to draw. You know, you probably download an app, you know, where you can start designing. So you will improve that part of, of your intelligence, which is the creativity part. So those are the eight type of intelligence. And whenever you improve your type of intelligence, you will be able to see the world in a whole different view because you will be using the 100% of your brain.